Hey, Pat McCardle here, back with another episode of Shop Talk. Today, we're talking all about the legendary performance that we've migrated from the Razor XP 1000 into these brand new Razor XPs. First, let's take the box off so you can see what the top of this engine and transmission package looks like. So, I cheated a little bit here, I removed this screw, but basically you got two screws in the back, you got two in the front that you gotta pop out, and they do have a slightly larger head on them than some of the other screws, so make sure you get the right ones back in the right spot. But easy way here, lift the box, this sucker pops right up and out of your way. All right, so we got an all new next generation ProStar engine in this thing. So still about a thousand cc engine, so same displacement as what you're used to. But we have gotten a few more horsepower out of this mill um, by doing a few changes on the inside, bumping up the compression ratio to 12 and a half to one. And you can see in the top view here, there's also a vented head now, similar to what we've got on our turbos, where you don't have to worry about getting an air pocket built up in that cooling system. So that actually migrates your overflow bottle to the back of the unit right back here. So engine Engine-wise, still a parallel twin, still a thousand cc naturally naturally aspirated engine, um, but a lot of you know internal upgrades have been done to uh, bump a little more power out of this thing, and uh, the throttle mapping is also a little different as well, so you get a little more uh, fun factor out of it as you go. Um, when you come back from the engine, uh, obviously we've talked through clutches in a previous episode a little bit, but bigger clutches, stronger belt, um, you know, larger ratios, so you get a much better uh, gearing effect out of the clutches. So it's easier to get going on this, and it's also going to give you a little bit of, you know, kick in the pants when you push that skinny pedal down. Um, the other things that you see on the top of the motor here, we've got an all new intake system and an all new exhaust. Um, so that also helps this engine breathe a little bit better as well. Um, so you know, all new flow both on the intake side and the exhaust side um, gives us the ability to build that 114 horse versus the 110 on the uh, XP1000. So coming back underneath this intake plenum, which you can't easily see here, but you might be able to see kind of down from the side, uh, we've actually upgraded the transmission on this rig as well. So we've gone to uh, some, some stronger bearings, uh, gears have gotten a little bit better, and we've done some changes on the splines as well so that we could upgrade the half shafts and prop shafts. We talked about that in previous episodes. Um, but the other cool thing about the transmission is we've actually uh, adjusted the gearing a bit. So we've taken low and we've dropped the ratio down uh, even further. So instead of having what we used to call kind of a trail friendly low gear where you could run low up to you know 40, low 40 miles an hour on an XP1000, this is more of a traditional low gear where you're gonna to run up into the kind of the high 20 range. Um, so it's gonna be much better for doing real technical crawling, you know, whether you get in the rocks and mud and snow, that kind of, that kind of work. Um, or if you gotta hop up and over, you know, a log or something else that's down in the trail. So again, you got a lower low ratio than what you're used to, kind of back to what, you know, a lot of people think of as a, as a low gear. Uh, but overall, you know, strengthened up components in the transmission, both from the gearing, um, the prop shaft, uh, the half shafts, you know, kind of everything getting that power out to the wheel ends is, is beefed up on these as well. So a couple other cool things about performance on the Razor XP. We've actually made better low speed drivability. So with those bigger clutches and deeper starting ratio, along with the new throttle mapping, we can actually give you a little better low speed drivability performance. So when you're doing some of that technical work, um, you're not worried about jumping out and, uh, you know, having that machine get away from you. So it's really nice in that regard. The other thing, you know, if you get stuck in a mud hole or something like that and you shift the, the vehicle into reverse, this one's actually got a geared reverse versus the previous gen that had chain driven reverse. So you don't have to worry about a, train, a chain at all in that transmission. Uh, it's gear to gear all the way back, uh, even in reverse. And we've also bumped the uh, reverse uh, torque limit so that you can get a little, uh, little more pull when you're backing up, you know, when you're stuck in a, in a mud hole or other technical terrain like that. The other thing I think that you guys see probably pretty visually is these brand new tires. So on the upper level trims, we've actually got an all new 30 inch tire. Uh, the sport trim still comes with a 29, but that 30 inch gives us a little bit more ground clearance. Uh, it's a nice aggressive tire. Um, it's got good uh, durability on it as well. Uh, and the tread performance actually does fairly well in, in most trail conditions, whether they're dry or even a little bit wet. So overall, these are, these are some cool new 30 inch tires that we've got on the Razor XP. So we've covered power, we've covered the drive line, you know, we covered the suspension in previous episodes, but what are some of the things we've done to make this thing agile? 
You know, tread pattern's one of them. When you look at the steering wheel, cool thing here is we've got a one and a half turn rack. So when I turn this steering wheel, I can go three quarters of a turn in either direction. What that means for you as a rider is you plant your hands at 10 and two and you almost never take them off the wheel, even when you're cruising through and carving through trails. From an all wheel drive perspective, we've actually got a similar ratio. It's about an 8% overdrive ratio on the front drive. So we've tweaked that a little bit, but you still get that legendary on-demand performance. So when you're in two wheel drive, you know, the back end's locked up. When you flip it into all wheel drive, you're gonna get all four wheels, the back spin a little faster than the fronts. You know, we kind of talked how that works in, in previous episodes. So go back and watch those if you need more details. But overall, that front end is actually gonna help pull you through corners. So the beauty on this is when you're coming up to a turn, you can hit the brakes to set the front end down you know, with the new brake bias we've got, it's gonna be really balanced. You're gonna throw it into the corner and then you're basically gonna hold the throttle and hold the steering wheel and it's just gonna carve through like you're on rails. Overall, the trailability of this new Razor XP is phenomenal. It's probably gonna be, you know, if it's not right now, it's gonna be one of your favorite machines to ride on a lot of the local trails probably to where you live. And overall, it's got me, uh, you know, taken by the heartstrings after getting to ride all weekend long. You know, I'm, I'm just ready to get one of these stored on a trailer and head off to the trail as quick as I can. So, you know, fantastic on the agility side as well. So when you think about it, just remember, legendary performance, tons of upgrades on the Razor XP, and that's a wrap for this episode of Shop Talk. So be sure you click, you know, to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.